Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Good Labor Day holiday here. Hopefully you'll be able to spend some time with your friends or your family, have a cookout, do whatever. Um, but hopefully you have a good day planned. St. John, the book of John chapter 12, verse 23. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it. He that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but for this cause came I unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have both glorified it, and will glorify it again. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it, said that it thundered. Others said, And an angel spake to him. Jesus answered and said, The voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. And if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. And this he said, signifying what death he should die. So here is Jesus saying, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And so he was meaning the death he would die, the scripture says, lifting him up on a cross. And he had to be lifted up. But since he has been lifted up and he draws men to him, we go now and lift him up. We tell others. We raise him so they can see. That's our job. That's what we do. We had friend and family day at the church yesterday and and um, I had a few friends and I had a little bit of family. Maybe more so than what some did, I guess. But uh, I appreciated the Grays and Jonathan King and, and everybody that came and everything that was done there. But what they were doing yesterday was just trying to lift up the name of Jesus. That's all we try to do is lift and encourage those who are lost to see their need for salvation. And so today on this holiday when some folks aren't working and maybe somebody will listen to this that doesn't normally have a chance hopefully uh, you will get this message and it will be um, the Lord draws you to him because he is being lifted up last night I dreamed an angel came he took my hand, he called my name, he bid me love the other way. I saw a man, I heard him say, he said if I I'll draw home into me. I turned and then I saw the nail scarred hands that bled for me. I touched the hem of his garment that fell round him there. My life, my heart, I gave my soul was in his when I awoke, my heart beat so, and in the dark I saw no. This was no dream. He turned my 
again I heard the Savior say He said if I be lifted up I'll draw all men to me I turned and then I saw the nail scarred hands that bled for me I touched the hem of his garment that fell round him there. My life, my heart, I gave my soul was in his care. My life, my heart, I gave my soul was in his care. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, I thank you for the opportunity, Lord, to share your word. And God, I know that there are folks, uh, just as yesterday as we, uh, we know that there are folks that maybe in each and every service there's someone that needs, they need to be saved or maybe they need to come forward and get help and get encouragement. And God, there may be somebody watching this today who is not where they need to be with you. Lord, I pray that you will deal with their hearts, that you will help them to look to you for help and strength today. We're trying our best to lift you up so that others may see. And when we do that, God, I know that you will be the one to draw those to you. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Tuesday.